Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Noah back again with another video and in today's video I am wearing the same shirt, yes. And these glasses as well. Pretty cool, right? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the number one key to attracting love and relationships into your life. And it's something that, you know, it's not really talked about, I feel like, from a lot of a lot of these, you know, like gurus or whatever who talk about relationships and stuff like that. It's and this key is very important because it's gonna be able to have people chasing you and you're gonna be able to attract love and a relationship if you want it. You know, for me, it's you know, I don't know. I'm I get I'm kind of like weird because like it's for me like I don't really just like go into like I'm very analytical in terms of like dating someone. Like I think about every single outcome, you know, what would happen, this and that. I don't really you know, and I'm not really I don't really date that much either. So it's different for me, but this has worked for me. You know, I've kind of just like straight away from it. Um, I haven't chosen to, you know, accept um, these things, I guess. But this will work for you because it has worked for me. And this is the key to attracting love and relationships into your life. And it's going to be, and it's going to start with not being needy. Now, what do I mean by this? You know. I simply mean don't you know you don't have to be wanting um a certain girl or a certain relationship or a certain guy into your life you know it is letting go of that belief letting go of the belief that you know you really really need that girl um and you know i can remember back in when i used to go to high school I would just obsess over like, you know, girls and I always wanted to, to date a girl and, you know, but the thing is, I, 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 I had that belief of like, I wanted it and I didn't, you know, cause when you, when you have that belief of you, of that you want something or that you really, really need something, you know, then that comes from like a desperate type of energy. So you're not, you know, whenever you say you you really 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 want something then you're creating resistance you know like think about it would you want to date someone who is like i really 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 want to date you you know or would you would you want to date something someone who is you know maybe not really like that as much you know so it's like for me you know when i was in high school i always was just obsessing over like man like i really need a date and like i really wanted to get a date and as soon as I, you know, stopped thinking like, you know, that I needed to get a date or I wanted to get a date, that's when, you know, girls just were coming into my life. You know what I'm saying? And like, I actually had like options and which is like so, the first time that that's ever happened in my life. But it's, it was simply because, and I didn't even know this at the time, but it was because I'd let go of that that limiting belief that I need a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like I need a girlfriend or I need to date someone. And whenever you whenever you say that out loud or you you're constantly thinking about it, then like I said before, it creates resistance and it makes girls unattracted to you because girls are very like girls in my opinion, they can be a lot they can be a lot more intuitive than guys. Um Especially in terms of, you know, if a guy likes her or like vice versa, right? Like a girl is going to be able to sense that you really, really want to date her or like, you know, or that like you're needy. They're going to sense that vibration without you even speaking to that person. You know what I mean? So it's like you're creating that resistance by even having that belief that you need to get a date. Now, what can you do? You can just simply let go of that idea and just simply say you know i'm i'm worthy enough like i'm good enough you know i don't really need a girlfriend i don't need to date anyone you know i'm because i i love myself and i'm 
confident in myself and you know i know i'm worthy of of dating girls you know what i mean but i'm not gonna go after girls in a needy way and in a needy or desperate way because that's another thing it comes off as desperate to girls when you when you when you have that mindset of like damn like i really need a girlfriend or like damn like i'm trying to smash you know what i mean so it's it's the idea of just letting go of that belief and just really feeling that self-worth within yourself because when you're confident in yourself and you have a lot of self-worth and you are are just like you know you just love yourself right but you're not like needy or you're not going after girls then girls are going to start to you know come to you just like magnetically and you know this has happened to me in like my workplace and stuff like that but like not even in my workplace but just outside of work you know what i'm saying like when i'm walking around like there will just be random girls who will like come up to me like no kidding and um yeah so like this this can like happen for you as well you know what i'm saying but you you just have to let go of that belief of that you need a girlfriend and you also have to feel self-love within yourself and you have to feel confident you know another thing that i've learned is you know because <laughs> me for for me personally i'm not the type of person to like ask like a girl out right and like i'm kind of like hesitant you know what i mean like um i you know if i'm talking to a girl right like i won't really i won't i won't really know when to ask her out or like you know like i said before i don't really do dates so like i won't know like when it's the right time to like ask her out and that's something that i've had to like learn recently like you know you have to ask her out at some point if you like want to like you know get to know her and like go on a date with her right um so that's very important to make sure that you ask her out if you feel like the vibe is good with between you guys and yeah you know that's pretty much my video i kind of just wanted to go over you know the one key that i feel like a lot of guys are missing out in terms of being able to pick up dates and um and find relationships and stuff so yeah as soon as you let go of that idea of neediness you know and just saying that you really 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 want her just be like no nah, like i'm chill with myself you know what i mean like i don't need to date anyone like because think about it like right this second like do you need to go on a date with someone chances are you don't you know what i'm saying so it's like if you don't need to now what's what's making you really really want to date someone you know what i'm saying just focus on yourself and focus on you know the grind focus on pursuing your passion and going for your dreams and in the process of doing that you know girls will come to you automatically guaranteed because they're gonna pick up on that energy of self-confidence and you know you going after your passion and when you go after your passion and you're working on, you know, achieving a dream, girls are going to pick up on that energy and they're going to really enjoy that. And when I say girls, you know, I also mean guys. If you're a guy watching this and you're and you happen to be gay, I'm talking about you guys as well. But I'm I'm saying girl for my um, in terms of, you know, my perspective. Um, so like, yeah, if you're gay, like, you know, this applies to you, too, but just if you're attracting if you're trying to attract love and relationships pretty much so yeah that's going to be the video for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed um thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate the support that i've been getting um in the past week um and yeah i can't wait to to grow this journey and to have a you know to be able to share this with all of you guys so thank you for giving me this opportunity and i'm so glad i'm able to make these videos for you guys and i'm very grateful to be able to record these videos so yeah with that being said i love you guys so much if you have anything that you want if you have an idea or something that you want to tell me uh, make sure to comment it below it could be an idea of a video topic or just whatever you know if you want to say hi just let me know i i respond to every single comment so feel free to comment down below 
and you can follow me on instagram i'm gonna link that below as well and yeah i love you guys so much peace love and happiness